Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, The Legend of Kage. And it's Kage, not Cage, despite popular beliefs. Kage means shadow in Japanese. The Legend of Kage is a side-scrolling platformer that was developed by Taito in 1985. The Legend of Kage may have seen a resurgence of interest in the recent years because of the release of a sequel on the Nintendo DS back around 2008, 23 years after the original game. The game wasn't so popular in the 80s. In fact, I knew of only one person who owned an NES copy of the game and I rarely saw it in the arcades. But I kinda liked the game. It was one of the only games where I didn't feel constrained. The main character Kage can run like the wind, climb trees, has a sword and endless supply of ninja stars, and can jump really high. I mean really high. Which sealed the deal for me because the game was amazing. And wait till you get this thing. Look at it, it just kills everybody on the screen. In this game you play as Kage who has to rescue the princess Kiri who was kidnapped while she was taking an evening stroll in the forest by herself in the middle of the night. You have to fight through five ninja field stages that stand between you and the princess. Prepare yourself though, because when you think it's all over, she gets kidnapped again. And what makes matters worse is she just keeps getting kidnapped over and over again. So that's how the game ends. Now you may look at the game and think, meh. And you would be right in your sentiment, but Legend of Kage, I believe, and this is only my opinion, harkens back to a period of the 60s ninja boom. A period that would later indirectly influence the likes of more popular, contemporary notions of ninjas. In this period, you would find the works of Noburu Akamoto, also known as Shirato Sanpei, a legendary manga artist who created the famous manga series Kamui, which was originally published in the monthly magazine Garo. Kamui tells the story of a low-born ninja of the Edo period who flees his clan. The Manga Kamui has underlying themes of oppression, rebellion, and Marxism, which is no surprise because the publication Garu was pretty bohemian in nature, and Sampe is known for his social criticism. Legend of Kage's aesthetic greatly resembles that of Kamui, and wouldn't be surprised if it was directly inspired by it. Since the game was pretty obscure back then, I couldn't find any sources to verify this claim, so this correlation is strictly an observation of mine, so don't go citing it and everything. The Legend of Kage is a pretty short game and doesn't have any continues or endings. It just keeps cycling over and over again, but it's not that hard once you get used to it. There have been attempts to revive the series, but to no avail. Which is too bad because I think the game has the foundation for a creative overhaul or reimagining. So play the game and let me know what you think.